Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the saddest case I've ever seen uh, resulting in Magic the Gathering. If I were this guy, I would probably, or Tobias, I would probably just quit Magic and call it a day and say, hey, this is not for me. And this regards uh, a case where a buyer purchases a card in Germany. So remember, this is only in Germany, so it's not in the US, and tries to resell the card but doesn't apply for a merchant account. So when someone, under German law, when someone purchases an item and their whole purpose is to resell the item, they are acting as a commercial entity. So the judge agreed with TCG discount, or I'll call it discount. This whole case just resembles this whole, like why do magic players or magic stores treat other magic players like this? Like, I don't understand what the benefit would be uh, for discount to do this and, you know, set a example. So they have posted in response on Reddit and they explained why they were doing it and things of that nature. But then wouldn't everyone be able to do this in Germany? Wouldn't this destroy the secondary market in Germany? I mean, yes, you could, everyone could register as a commercial trader, but like take an example. A example in the US, would people actually do that? Would they care enough to do it? Or would they just sell cards? Now, court fees aside, and I mean, he's out 3,600, 3,800 euros. I think he's a student. I'm not sure how old he is, but obviously, I don't know what to make out of this. Like, I really have no idea what to make out of it because it seems so illogical for this store to just pretty much like destroy this dude. I mean, I don't know how else to say, but like, is this what magic is about? Like, is it about people suing other people for like no reason? Like, and you might say, oh, there's a reason. Obviously the court found um, discount was correct and it's analysis of the law, but sometimes you can be correct and still be on the wrong side of, and honestly, I do wish that the magic community, like I personally, and as unrealistic, unrealistic as this sounds, I wish it kind of came together a little better and paid for the dude to contest this. Like the dude has no money left. He can't continue on. He's already out a ton of money, more money than he'll probably sell for magic cards in his whole life. Maybe. Definitely profit. Definitely more money than he can profit. Because if you're doing 4,000 euro in profit, you're probably selling about 20K magic cards, maybe more. And don't get me wrong. I do not like speculators. I do not like, and you might think that's hypocritical, and it is. But the attitude of this store to an individual magic player is nothing less than wholly offensive to my sense of why people play magic people play magic because of the community you cannot act and behave in this way and expect the community to be oh discount you're right you're right no that cannot be it like discount although you won this case you probably lost a ton of money and if i was a german seller on this platform i wouldn't sell you make a few dollars to what to get sued into oblivion why why would you do that why would anyone use this platform to sell magic cards in german in germany from this point on so it's a lose 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 and you know i don't know if it, they did it out of spite i don't know why they didn't settle out of court i don't know why they chose to conclude in this way but it is, uh, I don't know, like it is not a good example of how stores or I'll just say community members treat each other uh, when financial decisions are being made. At the end of the day, yes, you are a store. Yes, you need to make money. But no, this did not do either one of these two uh, objectives for you. So, I don't know, I feel, this feels kind of sickening to me, and I, I don't like it.